Good morning, guys. Today is Monday, which means it is Goodwill Thrifting Day. We have got to find some products. Last week, if you watched that video, I went to three different Goodwills and I found a total of one product, which was the Han Solo Star Wars card game, which actually did not even end up selling. I actually got offered I think two times by separate people pretty much lowballing me they wanted it for like five dollars and at that point I would lose money if I shipped it to them so that still hasn't sold but I'm really hoping man it is the third week of my eBay business series and I'm trying to get it up and running man like I'm, I want it I want to be able to make this passive income while I do the DoorDash while I have the whole YouTube thing if I could get a third stream of income up and running Warren Buffett would be proud. But the biggest thing is we have to find products. So me and girlfriend are gonna go now to Goodwill. We're gonna hit up two Goodwills. I'm hoping, man. I don't wanna go to the Clearwater one again. The Clearwater Goodwill sucks. But I'm gonna go to the Gandhi one again and the one I think it's on 34th Street. Let's go. Check that out. Am I missing something here? Because I don't know. There's no name on the back. It's just a shirt jersey. I found a Dairy Queen polo. I'll pick this up. I just saw this on the shelf. I was kind of hoping it was Daffy Duck, but instead of Daffy Duck, we found the Drunken Duck. Gary V would be proud if he saw me here, looking at the mugs. Look at this. Christmas mug with candy. There's no candy. Monopolies are good if you can get them brand new. For all of the non-European followers, this is pronounced Bayern Munich, not Munchen. And it's brand new, so we're gonna check it out. All right, so we found a Disney Elena of Avalor. Little purses, $12.98. You said it's a full box? Hold on, open, take it out. This said it's a full box of these things. Girlfriend, did you just find? Did you just find the jackpot? Let's find out. Four seventy-five. How many is there though? Not even then for four seventy-five. One fifty plus three dollars, brand new. Uh, dang, I really thought we hit something there. <laughs> if it's too good to be true, nah. It goes for five eighty-five each you, you you bamboozled me girlfriend one last look around always gotta look through this but there's just so much to look through this stuff's the most random stuff all right girlfriend we just got out the goodwill we found a freaking bag man i ended up spending 37 dollars for everything i got here girlfriend helped out a lot you found some good stuff those remotes i'm gonna show you guys exactly what i bought all right guys we hit the jackpots today i got a nike buccaneers polo it's pretty clean got a little bit of stains on it but it's used so i can wash it anyway this one was a little bit of a gamble it is a callaway golf polo and these things sell pretty good it was five dollars and i'm looking to probably get 15 for it this one girlfriend found it's a tp link 300 megabyte wireless router and it was how much was it, it was like five dollars too and it's brand new inside of here 498 brand new these things are going for like maybe 30 40 50 dollars this one i found it's a bayern munich keychain and the lanyard just the keychain alone i think was going for 15 and i think with the lanyard i could probably get 20 dollars for something i paid two dollars for and then we got these smart tv match completely I, I have no idea but they're sr755 smart remotes we found four of them and each of them were 398 and i'm thinking each of these could go for probably between 15 and 20 dollars a piece and i have four of them so that was an extremely awesome pickup red tags what's going on chief well, at least they're not blasting music today like they did last time. Off rip, we find the Nike tennis polo. It's small and it has a little bit of a stain on it, which is kind of concerning because you can't wash a brand new shirt and it's extra small. It's not the best size, but I will take it. Okay, guys, I'm going to need some help. I just found this J. Hain Barnes. I've never heard of this brand, right? It's a red tag, so it's half off. It's It's... I've never seen this before. Look how much it goes for. This one's gonna be a gamble. I am loving this Goodwill right now. We got a Manchester United Polo, $5, brand new. 
brand new official product, Manchester United. It's a large. That is an easy pickup, man. I don't support Manchester United, but I, I'll, I'll pick it up to resell it. Guys, look at this. Another one of these jersey type things. It's uh, I am Pinoy, which is Philippines. And it says Filipinas right there. It's kind of dirty, but it's a used one. I could wash it. I actually have to see how much it goes for, but it's brand new. Right, five dollars. Pick that up. Just found this Universal Studios Polo. It is half off, so it'd be like two dollars and fifty cents. But I have no idea who this is. I cannot remember this character for my life, and because I can't remember him, I can't get it because I don't know how much this would actually go for. I might be missing on something big though. All right, girlfriend just brought this current scene jacket. They want three dollars and ninety-eight cents. I can probably get upwards of $30 for this jacket. So that's a good pickup, girlfriend. Also, she did find this NASCAR shirt. Again, brand new. I haven't looked this one up yet, but it says Bubba Wallace. I'm not sure, I'm not really big into NASCAR. So this is a great find. I just have to look this up. What else did you get here? A brand new Tommy Bahama. This is for women, right? It has a TJ Maxx tag, but I'm just gonna take that off. It says compare $45. This is something that'd be like good for Poshmark. This would be a good Poshmark one. It's actually good fun. How much is it? Ooh, eight dollars. And what is this? Worldwide Sportsman. This one, no, nah, because it says nineteen ninety nine right there. Uh, if it doesn't have a new tag, because they're probably gonna want, yeah, they want the same. So look at this, right? Brand new, they want eight dollars, and used, they want eight dollars. What's what's the where, where's the logic in that? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put back this Bubba Wallace shirt. I can't find it anywhere, and the only ones that sell are like polos. This, it's a cool shirt, but not really for collectors, I guess. I was passing by, and I saw these Nike Airs going for $8.96, and then I looked right here, and uh, this pretty much ruins the entire shoe. Sucks. Good shoe. Ruined. A year ago, this aisle used to make me so much money, but then they took out the entire section for their Goodwill branded stuff. So now you have just one little portion here. It's just a bunch of garbage, really. I mean, this this all stuff is garbage as well, but this is good garbage. Oh, what is this? Look at this. Harry Potter. Not new, but someone left a bunch of them right there, too. Yeah, all this is just like... This is all stuff that really belongs in the garbage, right? Not here. I'm looking at the shirts again one last time before I buy them. Not only do they have the stains right here, but it's like ripped. It's like ripping on the outside of the shirt in certain places. And no one's gonna wanna buy a brand new shirt with like ripped pieces on it, so. That one's gonna go back. I also put back the Pinoy one, this one, and then these are what girlfriend found. I think Gary V would go crazy here with all these mugs, man. But really, the only mugs that I look for are Disney ones. Disney mugs sell the fastest and for the best profit. If you don't find a Disney one, then it's just... It's not really worth it, in my opinion. Again, always just take like a quick look at the picture frames. Because a lot of people will skip this, right? A lot of people will sit here and say, oh, there's probably no money here. And look at this. Vintage World Trade Center. Little, like, poster thing. This is actually, this is pretty unique. The only one at $1.18, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually look this up. Boom, we found this Superman little canvas thing. Arauco, I've never heard of them, but I'll go ahead and look this up too. I did look up the World Trade Center one, and uh, because it's not new, it's not really worth anything, but I'll check this out. Maybe I'll even buy this for myself. If you really wanna get thick into this stuff, sometimes you can find cake pans that are actually worth a lot. The cake pans can go up to like 20, 30, 40 bucks but I just don't have the time to sit here and try to look through all that. I was never really a big fan of trying to sell these plush little uh, teddy bear stuff things, but if you come across a Disney one, especially Mickey Mouse. All right, girlfriend just came back with some jeans. Normally, I don't like to do jeans because I'm lazy. I mean, you guys can already tell I'm, I'm the laziest person in this entire world, bro. I like to do stuff the easy way, and it's got so much hair on it. This person must have had a dog, but it's... um. Seven for all mankind right here and the MSRP is 195 and they're asking Seven dollars. I think I, I looked on eBay. I could probably get like thirty dollars for this So seven dollars into thirty is not bad at all. Also. I was just about to turn off the camera. I found this Hot Wheels Wow, someone ripped the tag off 
that's cool i used to buy these things and actually sell them they would have the individual things to put the cars this one doesn't this one's just kind of like a lunchbox or something i used to make so much off the toy section here and then oh look a disney plush just notice this a little dirty but what is this this is this is stitch leela and winnie the pooh how do i even look this up <laughs> which one do i look up first so i was able to find this it goes for 12 bucks they're probably gonna want to charge me like medium price for this because they scammers we'll put that back oh, i was just about to turn the camera what is this this is this is this is these two have a card game and if they can have a card game you guys can make it in life too all right so we did find some treasures first thing was this manchester united not a big fan of the club but four dollars and 98 cents for something that sold for 28 euros not even that's not even a dollar sign that's a euro sign right there big ballers girlfriend found the tommy bahama this is for women i'm thinking this is definitely gonna sell on poshmark it's a medium women's tommy bahama brand new i'm gonna take this tag off and just say that it was 45 dollars. another find by girlfriend don't even know of this brand current scene it's made in egypt it's a jacket the good thing about jackets right now what the heck is that the good thing about jackets is it's gonna get colder so this should sell pretty fast and it's it's vintage i think this shirt was a complete gamble i never heard of jay hayne barnes it was twelve dollars and 98 cents but red tag i got it half off and it goes for 125 msrp so i i have to find that later and then last thing girlfriend found these seven for all mankind jeans all i have to do is lint roll it it's brand new and we bought it for what like seven eight dollars yeah seven dollars msrp is 195 but on eBay, I saw them going for about $30 to $40, so that's pretty much the range I'm going to put it in. And that's all we found, man. Pretty good day today. I'm really happy. Some days you find stuff, and some days you don't. That's just how it is. All right, guys. I have some depressing news. So I was going through all of the shirts. I was just about to take pictures of them. I took pictures of all of the uh, regular stuff, the remotes, the, the router, and, and the Bayern Munich thing. Took pictures of all of that. Was getting ready to do the shirts. And I realized the Callaway shirt was missing the middle button. And at that point, I can't sell it, right? The middle button, th this, pretty much right here, like that, it was missing it, right? There was a hole for a button to go through, but it was missing the actual button. And at that point... I can't sell it, right? What, what do I what do I list it as? Like ten dollars? Hey, it's missing a button. I don't think anyone would want to buy it. So that one I'm chalking up as a complete loss. I'm gonna have to. What I, what I do with that is at the end of the year I'm just gonna redonate it again. But the thing is, it doesn't even end there because the Tommy Bahama shirt, the Bucks polo, and the current seam jacket, all of them had stains. And I used OxyClean. I'll actually show you guys. Look, give me a second. I used this. It's OxyClean for like laundry. It removes stains. This thing absolutely does wonders. If you're looking to start an eBay business, you need a bottle of this. I'm not sponsored by them, but I used it for the Tommy Bahama. Stain is gone. I used it for the Buccaneer shirt. The stain is gone, but I'm having an issue with the current seam shirt. Uh, the stain is just like a pure pure pitch black line that i missed and if i saw that i would have never bought the jacket man which really sucks so i got the bucks shirt again in the wash and i have the current seam jacket in the washer but i'm really hoping it's off on the current seam jacket because if not that's going to be two losses in one week and i'm really not trying to have that all right guys the buck shirt and the jacket just came out of the washer again if you can see right here i don't know what this is but it's really annoying but i feel like i can actually get this off with just a toothbrush and water i totally believe i can get that off uh there was bigger stains right here which looks like it came off with the oxyclean so that is great i might actually oxyclean that too and then just take the same toothbrush and just wash it with water afterwards so that way i don't have to rewash the entire shirt again but this shirt should be good uh just other than that man i really this is this is the issue with buying used shirts now this jacket unfortunately i cannot sell it uh there's just multiple of these and i didn't see them and this is completely my fault these stains right here they're just not coming off even with oxyclean it's not working and it's on both of the uh arms also the pocket if we look right here the pocket is actually ripped unfortunate i don't know how much this jacket was but uh there's no way i can really sell it the best thing i can do at this point is just say that it's a loss for my business and then towards the end of the year probably early december i'm gonna go back to goodwill 
and re-donate the items, which would also give me one of those tax receipt things that I can write on my taxes that I donated. So even though I bought stuff that was not good that I couldn't resell, at least it's not a complete loss because I'll just re-donate them again and get a little bit off my taxes uh, at the end of the year.